Good morning. I'm Pastor Corby Johnson. Welcome to Devotions in the Proverbs. I hope your yesterday was filled with love and compassion and kindness, and you celebrated Valentine's Day with people that you love. Today is Tuesday, February 15th. I did not record yesterday, so you didn't miss anything. February 15th, and we're on Proverbs 30, verse 20. This is the way of an adulterous spouse. Now, this says adulterous woman, but I think it can go both ways. This is the way of an adulterous spouse that eats and wipes their mouth and says, I've done nothing wrong. This is the way of an adulterous spouse that eats and wipes their mouth and says, I've done nothing wrong. Imagine oh, the pain, the heart, the mind. Imagine that happening to you, someone stepping out. I wonder if we can imagine what it would be like living for yourself and not thinking about anyone else to get what you want no matter how it will affect anyone in your life. Imagine having no conscience, no sense of right and wrong, just the drive to get what you want when you want it and have no qualms about it whatsoever. Just imagine the way an adulterous spouse eats and wipes their mouth and says, I've done nothing wrong. Now this piece of scripture might really hit you in the heart. Perhaps you've been in a situation like this before where you've had a spouse that didn't play by godly rules as an action whether you've been in a relationship like this or whether you're seeking a relationship, write down what you think a good relationship should be like. What do you deserve? How do you want to be spoken to? How do you want to express your love? How do you define right and wrong? And what feels loving and what does not. Write down what you think a good relationship should be. How do you want to be spoken to? How do you want to express your love? And define what you feel is right and wrong in a relationship. What makes you feel alive and loved? And what doesn't? As an action, <clears throat> little by little, this type of person will steal your joy, your self-respect, and stunt any future relationships you have. This type of person needs to be cut out of your life. No second thoughts, no turning back. You deserve better. You deserve to be loved. You deserve to feel safe in your own home. And you deserve to feel the presence of God leading you and guiding you and your spouse into glory. Thank you for joining me today. I hope that this gave you pause to think whether you're in a bad situation or you're in a loving situation, God loves you and wants what's best for you. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you tomorrow.